Hello, everyone. My name is Todd Cochran. I am the host of The Chrome Show at thechromeshow.com, part of the Geek News Central network at geeknewscentral.com. And we're just about ready to open up the Samsung Series 5 Chromebook. This arrived here uh, just a few minutes ago, so I wanted to take a quick video of the, the opening of the box and looking to see uh, what we have inside. So, as you can see, comes a pretty st a standard nondescript box from, uh, from Samsung. And we'll turn the thing here so we can see exactly what we're getting. But uh, pretty, you know, pretty standard packaging. Nothing too fancy from uh, from Samsung. Nothing like opening an Apple product, obviously. But uh, we've got uh, the Chromebook here, and it uh, it's in a nice form factor. Very thin. So see if you can see that. Back side is of course got a. Got an Intel logo on it as well. And looking inside the box, it looks like we've got a, a, a basic instruction manual that comes with it. It says safety instructions, so hopefully it doesn't take too much more uh, knowledge than that than to use it. And then looking in the accessories box, oh, very good. So I'm glad they provided this. This is the uh, mini VGA to VGA adapter. This allows you to uh, run this on a regular monitor. So they provided a, a small cable for that. Those of you that are Mac users, you're probably very familiar with this connector. But it looks like it's got a little bit of a non-standard plug. Something I, well, those that type of plug I haven't seen before. And they've got a very small power supply and cable. But really what we want to do is we want to see this baby boot up for the very first time. So let's go ahead and uh, and open the lid up and see if I've got this on the on the right side here and actually I don't so we'll turn it around and see if we can get it up underneath here up underneath the camera so you guys can see it well um, they claim an eight second boot so let's see what it does on the uh, on the very first boot so here we go let's see if it's even got battery life in order to make it happen Doesn't look like the battery's charged, so we'll get it plugged in and we'll run it up from there. All right, we've got the power plugged into it, and let's see what happens now when we try to boot it. Power button's been pushed. See the Chrome logo come on. And I'm not counting here, but uh, we'll see how long it actually takes for this thing to get to its first initialization screen. It's definitely taking longer than the uh, six or seven seconds that they said it would take from a normal boot. But here we are in our very first setup screen. So it asked me to get started. English. Uh, select a network. Let me look here. What do we got? Is it going to ask me for? Well, it's going to ask me for my uh, wireless network. So let me go ahead and enter the password for that. I actually had to connect it to a, a different network. It had a little trouble with my, my primary network here now, so I hooked it to a secondary. Clicking can uh, continue. Of course, they ask you to accept the terms and conditions, so I'll go ahead and do that. So now it's going to check for updates. And hopefully being that it just delivered, there won't be any updates, but I'm knowing in Google there probably will be. System's now doing a, an update, so it's actually updating to the most recent uh, operating system, and it says it's going to restart uh, when it's finished. So it doesn't look like it's going to take too long, but uh, I am. The book is. Uh, connected to a network that is not as fast as my primary network here. So I'll we'll give this a minute or so to uh, do its update. Alright, the system uh, took about uh, 15 minutes to update and now it's uh, asking me for my email address, my uh, Google email address and password. So let me log that in and we'll hit next. Alright, we'll hit the sign in button and see what happens. Sign me in to so here, check, choose a picture to for your account. Well, I think we ought to just 
Let's pick this default one. Oh, let's try the, uh, let's try, what should we use? Eh, why not? We'll just use this as default. Hit OK. And boom, it loads you right in and it brings you into tutorial talking you how to to master your keyboard. Start off by clicking in the middle. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and close this edition. This is the unboxing of the Chromebook and how easy it is to get started. The next episode we'll get into settings and how to manage your Samsung Chromebook. Again, be sure to check out our new show that's coming soon at The Chrome Show, thechromeshow.com. Of course, come over to Geek News Central at geeknewscentral.com to check all the great content over there as well. Thanks, take care, and email me at geeknews at gmail.com. Aloha.